This motel is not where I expected to spend Christmas Eve. Ugh, Cam. What is taking Badger so long? Chill, Adam. It's only been five minutes, 57 seconds, 58, 59, six minutes! Uh Uh-huh. See? Just like clockwork. Good. I was about to count shampoo molecules to cure my boredom. What? Where am I? Recognition in three, two... Cam? Adam? What are you doing here? Where is here? And why is my head spinning? Deep breath, kid. We'll fill you in. We're in a motel room in Arkansas. Your brain is getting acclimated. To what exactly? Memories. They'd kind of been wiped from your brain for the past few months. They're coming back now. It's a lot to process, so you'll feel a little off for a bit. It may take a while to re-register. Your memories from your new life should still be intact. (sighs) Oh my gosh. The Anders. Ugh. Them. He couldn't have remembered anything else. The last movie he saw, a dentist appointment he enjoyed, anything? We have to get to them. Oh, don't tell me you miss them. They're not your family. They're in Louisiana. What? They went looking for Thornton Rust. No. No! Holiday cannot be with Dr. Whittier. Do you think I joke about this? We have to get to her. And quickly. Hello? Is someone down here? Oh, Holiday. I didn't mean to bother you, Dr. Whittier. You never could. I was just having a think by the fire. Come in. Sit with me. It's pretty late, young lady. Santa won't come until you're fast asleep, you know. I guess Santa will need to take the scenic route. Like, the way we got here. Is something on your mind? You seem troubled. No, I'm I'm just still waiting for Cyrus and Brinley to get home. Ah, their outing wasn't actually to the mall, was it? What makes you say that? Holiday, you can trust me. Where did your brother really go? Cyrus and Brinley definitely went shopping. It's just weird that that they went together. Please forgive me, Holiday, but I don't believe you. Oh, why? Let's just say I sense a... what do you kids call it? A vibe? From Cyrus. He he doesn't like me very much, does he? I I don't think that's it. Cyrus is just cautious. (laughs) I, I can't say I blame him. I don't blame either of you for wanting to be careful. You don't? Of course not. You and Cyrus have been through so much... So many people you've trusted have let you down, lied to you, betrayed you. It must be a terrifying way to have to go through life. And for that, I am truly sorry. Honestly, it's been okay. At least we have each other. My parents finally told me the truth. Cyrus and Bertie are the best family a girl could ask for. No offense. None taken. I'm delighted to hear it. It makes me want to get to know them that much more. Really? I would never try to compete with the Anders for you. There is enough love in this house for us all to be a family. I I guess... sure. You still don't believe me. I have an idea. How about, as a show of good faith, I let you open just this one present a little early? Oh, I don't know. I should probably wait for Cyrus and Bertie. It was a tradition I shared with Adelaide. Please, just the one gift. I made it especially for you. Oh, okay. Sure, just the one. What? Hubby? How? I made you a new board, with the same program as the original, and a few minor improvements included. This is unreal! Thank you! Grandpa? Grandpa. Rebuilding Hubby was worth it, just to hear you call me that. I... Kind of like saying it. Ah, a hug, too. The old man is emotional. <laughs> what do you say we head to the roof? Check out Hovey's new tricks. Man, oh man, will Cyrus be bummed he missed this? Oh. 
All right, Ruthie B. and Stephen Hawking. You're in this holding cell till you can tell us your real names, and we can call your parents. Don't we get a phone call? Sure. Just as soon as you tell us who you are. If you need me, I'll be getting some eggnog. Well, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Cyrus, please, shut up. I'm just saying. Don't. I didn't think anything would be worse than spending my birthday sleeping in the mud in Arkansas. But Christmas in jail? You really know how to show a girl a good time, Cyrus. No wonder Casey bailed. What's wrong with you? This is exactly what I was talking about before. We came out tonight to help my sister, and now we're in a mess and we need to figure it out. But not only do you want to complain and point fingers, you're hurtful. Why can't you, for just one minute, cooperate with someone instead of making everyone miserable? What? Why can't you, I don't know, just like people? Because people leave, Cyrus. Moms, they disappear. Dads, they go on oil rigs for months at a time, and you never know when or if they'll be back. Little brothers you find in the woods hate you when they learn you lied to them. Badger wasn't... Never mind. I don't know why, but people leave. You can't count on them. In this world, I learned you can only count on yourself. I thought if anyone got that, it would be you. Your parents lied to you. Casey? I mean, she left you. But you're up in your room writing love letters to her. She didn't leave me. We left her. And we're doing everything we can to get back to her. To get you back to your dad. Who knows? Maybe your mom is doing everything she can to get back to you. And... And I'm really sorry. For what? I'm really sorry that you've had a rough life. I'm sorry that my family and our situation hasn't made it any easier. You keep saying you don't have anyone and that people leave, but... Yeah? We haven't left you, Brinley. Not for a second. You have us, don't you? I... do? Yeah, and you're a total bully to me every single day. You can't even call me by my real name most of the time. I did today! Once. And despite everything you've done, I'm here. Because you have to be. We're behind bars, dummy. Would I have asked for your help if you weren't part of our team? I was your only option. Or maybe I see the good in people. Even you. You do? Do you really mean that? Do you smell something? Oh, here we go. This is where you tell me that I need a shower? No, you idiot! It smells like... Smoke! <coughs> You're right, I smell it too. Where is it coming from? <coughs> There's a fire! This is not a drill! Evacuate! Look how thick the smoke is out there! <coughs> hey! Let us out of here! We're locked in the cell! <coughs> Anyone, please, hurry! Ah! Sprinklers! Great! I'll either burn to death or drown! Or both! Someone get us out of here! No one? Really? Merry Christmas to you, too! <coughs> I can't see anyone through the smoke, can you? Quick! Come with me, you two! You so Who cares? He's a cop, and he's getting us out of here. You kids okay? <coughs> Think so. Yeah, <coughs> thanks to you, officer. <laughs> you sure about that? Cy Cyrus? <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, what's wrong? Look. Hey, Anders. Long time no see. Magnus? <laughs>